Right. Uh, so, so we're something and friends. Um, so that's uh, myself, Rashmi and Marsha. Unfortunately, Rashmi and Marsha can't join us today um, due to other commitments, but we have something as well joining us right now. Um, before that, I'm just gonna talk about my work. Um, I'm a new media artist uh, from Pondicherry. I work with um, dance performance and multimedia performances. Uh, I do a lot of generative art, kinetic installations, set design and projection mapping, and um, some LED installations, interactive stuff, as well as a lot of generative work for arts and dances and things like that. So I'm just gonna, um, so Marsha has actually created a video for us and we'll just have to go through that first. Wait a minute, am I sharing screen? Sorry. Hello, I'm Marsha and I'm presenting for Something and Friends. Rashmi is on holiday. Vinay may be with you depending on his work commitments. I'm teaching today. I'm sorry I can't be there, but I'm with you in moving image and in spirit more generally. The last time we met, which was at the Midpoint Review, it was our plan to create an internet platform that explored the pandemic by looking at the reciprocity between online and offline space. But we realized it was too much, too much interaction. It was too ambitious for the time frame we had at our disposal. Vinay came across this open call. The Science Gallery was looking for young people across the global network to come together and exchange ideas and create and collaborate for a boredom rebellion, with this being a way to make sense of the pandemic. Applying for this led us to take two decisions. First of all, we decided the workshop would be our collaborative project for the CoLab Fellowship. And second, we decided the success of the workshop, and hence our collaborative project, would not depend on the success of our application to the Science Gallery's public program. You can find our proposal posted on the showcase entry for Something and Friends. Try this at home, which is the name of our workshop, explores two primary themes, inside, outside, and reality dreams. It uses poem-like texts, artworks, or artistic experiments, and fantastical landscapes to reinterpret the spaces of our lived experience. Rashmi led on the poster and Vinay, sourced three specific web apps that were especially appropriate for probing the reciprocity between online and offline space. Build Space Environment is good for analyzing Build Space. Neural Style API has a knack for inside outside and Galgan can move us from dreams into reality. But we still needed a wine. It was around about this time that we also got feedback that in addition to determining why this workshop was important, why it was meaningful, we should also think about how we wanted the participants to feel as a result. Reading around the science galleries application and then making our submission help to clarify this further. And this is because the network's mission is to ignite creativity where science and art collide. And crucially, this is about encouraging their main audience, which is young people to learn through their interests. We wondered if we could do the same. Could we workshop the workshop to learn how to better teach it? Could we become power users of this curriculum? Could we learn about AI through our own interests and practices of tech art. For me personally, this began with contempt. Contempt for all the old fashioned art references we kept coming across in the field of AI, dead white European males. This was so at odds with all the work around decolonization that's going around. It's happening in art education, but also the worlds of art and beyond. This is only one reason why the old masters are losing their relevance. 
cued by conceptual art, I created a structure. And this is written up in my 925 draft report. So I cycled through each of the web apps three times. I reflected on this experience and I generated insights, two insights. And from this, I produced five artistic experiments. This includes a style transfer inspired by the artist Bruce Nauman's walks around his studio. I also experimented with applying Mono Ha, the knot making group from Japan in the 1960s, to Gauguin. This involved tapping a red dot. Many of you will know what the symbolism of this is in the art world and looking around while I did that and then transferring it into Gauguin and doing the same. The results were as lame as the process was fascinating. Now, speaking about processes, I asked Vinay what for him was especially challenging. And he reflected on the fact that um, it related to finding the correct parameters of tool to give meaningful results. So to avoid random out of spectrum outputs. In the case of Rashmi, she said that for her, it was interesting to think about developing conversations and a symbiotic relationship with the AI and ML programs, understanding their applications in physical, quantified and tactile formats. In closing, we're pleased to say our proposal has been shortlisted for the Science Gallery's public program. Regardless of the outcome, we've learned a lot. This includes getting to grips with the emerging field of tech art and its potential. Thank you very much. Please visit the CoLab Showcase to learn more about Try This at Home. Hello. Hello, I'm. Yeah. Um, yeah. So uh, just that was uh, pretty much the concise version of the entire project. And um, just to go back to actually how we got to this point, this was a screenshot from our mirror board, which kind of talked about what we're trying to do in terms of uh, creating interaction between AI and people and how that uh, experience, how that active user experience actually makes people think about the built environment. Our main theme was how we're kind of talking about uh, the space around us in isolation in a way. So um, the idea is to use AI as a way to be creative and imagine a different space, imagine the world in a different way. And um, the workshop also, we, want, uh, we would like to have some a sort of a souvenir, something that you can take back from it because beyond a workshop, it's not just learning, but something that you can also tangibly feel and kind of take something home. And that's something still to be developed, but we're looking in that. Um, so this is a poster, which basically goes through the three different steps. Uh, the first is the analyzing build space. Uh, which is uh, using the dense, caption, uh, dense, dense captioning model by uh, deep AI, we're going to be able to actually uh, use the AI to take a picture of our space and analyze it as to what is in our space. Because uh, when we're on a Zoom call, we kind of have you know, the background here, which is a curated background, but in front of me, there's a huge mess. And how do we actually understand our space beyond just looking at things, but how does the AI also perceive it? And um, the same thing to do with, because we're in isolation, we're looking at about our space inside as well as our space right outside our windows. How do we actually interact with the outside world through our windows in the lockdown period? Um, going to the next stage, which is the reality dreams, where we are actually trying to see how we would like to imagine our space in a different way, how we would re-curate uh, our spaces in using AI as a tool to be creative. So uh, as an example, we took one room, this is uh, Rashmi's room, and um, as you can see, running the model, we can there are certain clues as to what is there. There's a curtain on a window, there's a black speaker somewhere, but and there's a laptop and a table, a window on the wall. So these are cues that uh, people just ignore generally, but the, the moment you read them, you kind of start imagining that, you know, you really start focusing on these things. And um, the next idea was to actually style transfer the same space into a different uh, mood and to reimagine to reimagine and revitalize the space and perhaps look at the space in a different way and see how by in the way of a painting or of a different style how does that affect your mood how does the space affect how you feel and uh, work um, going to the outside world where we have an image from the window how do you re 
define the space outside based on Gaugan. So Gaugan is a tool uh, by NVIDIA, which is uh, being able to create uh, virtual landscapes, digital landscapes, which are purely imagined. And um, this is based on some sort of uh, drawing and pix to pix uh, methods. And we could actually take a landscape from outside and uh, recreate our space and see how our landscape outside could be imagined in a different way. Um, let me just go through a small video of how we'd like to have the experience actually curated. Yeah, so that's our project. I invite you to actually go to the blog post to read in more in depth. And um, we're actually going to be doing this for the Youth Symposium uh, for, uh, the, for the Science Gallery. And I invite, if you're within the age of 15 to 25, please join in. Thank you.